Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. <laughs> you know, there are very few men who make good housekeepers. A man can be neat and clean keeping his own house, but it just isn't the same as when a woman's around to do it. Let's face it, fellas, they have that certain knack. Now, take for instance myself. I can keep my workshop looking like it's been polished every day and it looks good. But in the house, well, that's a different story. It's not only polishing and scrubbing that counts, but it's a woman's touch. <laughs> I like to call this one... The Battle at Jenkins Manor. Hey, stop, Ray. Come on. I've got to drop you off at headquarters on my way to school. All right, all right. Keep your pajamas on, Sonny. <laughs> you look like a monkey in a junk barrel. Yeah, you would, too, if you lived in this house. I can never find anything. <laughs> That's for sure. You never put anything back where it belongs. Listen, I'm so busy finding stuff, I ain't got time to put it back. <laughs> what are you looking for? My bandana handkerchiefs. Uh, maybe it's here in the closet. Have you tried your dresser? Now there's a first-rate idea if I ever heard one. <laughs> now who went and put them where they're supposed to be? What's the matter with you, Stumpy? You sound like a like a bear with lockjaw. I've been wondering that too, Gray Wolf. Ah, <laughs> oh, we we call him Grumble Junkie. Oh! of mine. Oh, what's wrong now? Roof fall in? No, it's just that I can't ever find anything. I'm so busy looking, I ain't got time to be putting. <laughs> you mean you're a pilot, oh. Stumpy? A pilot here and pilot there? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on now, old Stumpy diver, on. get it off your chest. Well, it's just that I'm getting sick and tired of keeping house for myself because I ain't no good at it. <laughs> Well, that's strange. You need as a pen with trail cabins and packs and tools. Well, that's different. It's part of my job. <laughs> Old friend, I know you don't like to talk about your wife because it brings back too many wonderful memories and tragic ones, too. Ah, I not know you have wife, old-timer. Yep, I did. And Marthy and me was married for ten years. She died of typhoid fever. Maybe that's what set me off this morning. What do you mean? Something stirred up sacred memories? Yep. They uh, would have been married 50 years today if she had lived, Grey Wolf. Yeah. She was a wonderful woman. Marthy never had an unkind word for anybody or anything. In those days, I wasn't a Christian. I was a real rip snorter. Yes, sir, she kept a perfect house. It was homey and comfortable. Yes, sir. It's been 40 years, but I can remember her like it was yesterday. Have you uh, thought about getting a housekeeper? Uh, once or twice, but nobody could keep house like Marthy. They know you. She spoiled me plumb bad. Oh, I'll be all right in a few days, as soon as I get over feeling sorry for myself. Oh, it's all fired funny. <laughs> Look 
at your feet. <laughs> you got different colored <laughs> boots on. One buckskin and one black. Oh, I couldn't find the mates. I looked high and low and I couldn't find them. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't got him on cross-footed, Stumpy. You stay in bed, Stumpy. Yeah, I almost did, but they began to pinch and bite, so I knew something was wrong. <laughs> did anybody uh, see you come to work with those unmatched boots on? Uh, I suppose you did. <laughs> Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Oh, uh, hello, Pat. What? <laughs> you did? <laughs> Did Pat see him? He sure did. Oh, no. He wants to know what's the matter with Stumpy. Well, ask him if he expects me to come to work barefooted. Barefooted. Without my shoes on. <laughs> what's that, Pat? You heard him? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pat. So long. <laughs> well, I catch that farmer doing something oh. crazy. I'll rip him until he's black and blue. Oh. I haven't laughed so hard for a long time. <laughs> my, my ribs are... <laughs> <laughs> you better take Bill's advice and get a housekeeper. No, Paul, get along all right. I know what I'll do. What? I'll take a couple of days vacation that I got coming and clean house. Then I should be able to get organized. Are you sure that crazy old Indian fighter won't get mad at me for coming along? No, Pat, he'll growl and groan, but he won't get angry. Uh, I've sure got to feast me own eyes in this house-cleaning effort of his. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> As I live and breathe. Hmm? Hey, I wonder what he's up to. Bless me aching feet if I know. Hey, Stompy, don't jump out of the window. It's not worth it. Who's gonna jump? I'm gonna wash it. <laughs> I thought for the minute this house-cleaning had got the best of you. Stop wagging your tongue and bring your flat feet inside. And bring the boss with you, and I'll make you some coffee. Aye, there's as fine an idea as ever I've heard. Come on, Bill. Oh, boy, me poor old flat feet appreciate having the load lifted from them. There, this coffee's fine, me boy. And so is your house cleaning job. It does look pretty good, if I say so myself. How long will it stay this way, Stumpy? Yes, see, Patrick, all the appreciation I get. <laughs> sure now, ain't you the limit? <laughs> You've done a fine job, old-timer. I can even see the top of the dining room table now. Hey, what do you know? It's walnut. <laughs> well, thanks for the coffee, boys. Uh, I've got to get back and pound me beat. The citizens of this here town are paying me to do me duty and not to lollygag around. Well, keep up the good work, old-timer. <laughs> Some help you are. I'm trying to keep the work down, not up. Oh, you sure do plenty of good job on house cleans, don't you? Why you not get housekeeper now to keep it nice? Nope. Can't see it, sonny. Now don't you scratch your head about me. I'll get along all right. Okay. I think maybe you'd like to take it easy now. Ha! You incinerating I'm getting too old to take care of myself. Oh, I know that not true. Yeah, let's finish counting that elk herd and make camp. Uh, good idea. I think you change mind about housekeeper plenty soon. Well, if I do, you better have my head examined for leaks in my roof. Thanks for the good vittles, young feller. Ah, oh, forget it, Stumpy. You're welcome any time, you know. Sure, I know it. <laughs> well, good night. Good night, old-timer. See you in the morning. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess I better invigorate the boiler. It's going to be chilly tonight. Where's that shovel? Some heat from old 
bones. Now to hit the hay. Must be in trouble. Supposed to be picking up the old timer on his way to school. Ranger one to Henry. Ranger one to Henry. What's wrong, pal? I can't rouse Stumpy. What? You can't? No. I've beaten the front door black and blue. Rapped on the windows. No response at all. You'd better get over here pronto. And how? We'll be right there. All right, fellas. Hey, he's lying on a chair. His hand's all bandaged up. Oh, he had some trouble last night. I'll say. Let's wake him up and find out. Stumpy! Stumpy! Hey, wake up! Come on! Come on! Stumpy! Stumpy! Wake up! What, 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 what did the name of common sense you fellas doing here in the middle of the night? Middle of the night? Why, it's morning. I stopped by to pick you up. Hey. Uh, uh, so it is. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, what happened to you? Uh, How'd you cut yourself? Why are you sleeping in the chair? Uh, you'll never believe me. Well, try us out. Well, <laughs> yeah, the radiator was acting up, and I was up half the night trying to get an airlock out of it. The valves that are supposed to do that must be dirty. Then I finally got to sleep, and the alarm went off pretty quick. And you cut hand fixing radiator? Nope. Making breakfast. Oh, no. Yep. I was squeezing oranges. And the squeezer broke and cut my hand. Oh, oh. stop. About that time, the toast started burning, so I took it out and got blood all over the toast. Ooh. Then I went to pour milk on my cereal after I wrapped my hand, and I found out after the first mouthful it was buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand on my cereal, it's buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd better sleep oh, until stop noon, Stumpy. <laughs> Then come to work. You've had a rough time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I reckon so. And I'll be all right. Uh, there's only one thing I want to ask you, Sonny. Okay, shoot. Do you really know of some woman who would keep house for me? Hey, now you're talking. Ah, so you finally gave in. <laughs> sure, I know of a fine housekeeper, Stumpy. And she'd be only too happy to have the job. Mrs. Murphy. Maggie Murphy? The same. And a fine lady. What do you say, old-timer? Well, uh, all right, I'll give it a try. Why don't you call her up right now? No, uh, you're pretty fancy talking with the ladies, young feller. Uh, how about you asking her? 
<laughs> sure. I'll do anything to make sure you're not going to keep on living alone. It's too dangerous. Maggie, are you still looking for a housekeeping job? Sure as a duck likes to swim. And who, may I ask, have you got in mind? Stumpy Jenkins. That old warthog? Oh, come on now, Maggie. He's not as bad as all that, I'm sure. Oh, I think not, Billy Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. I'll come about noon each day and keep house, and I'll fix his supper. And then I'll come home to me own brood. Ask him how that sounds. I'm sure it'll be very satisfactory. When can you start? In the morning. Good. Thanks a lot. I thank you, Bill. The good Lord has answered me prayers for a part-time job. Part-time job? You have another one? Uh, what do you think keeping house for a man and five boys is? Hi, isn't it a big load off your mind? To know that when you get home this evening, supper will be ready and the house clean as a whistle? Uh, maybe. you find out Henry Wright. I hope so. Makes me jittery knowing that Maggie's rooting around the house cleaning up. I probably won't be able to find a thing. Why, oh, you wait and see. You'll like it fine. Uh, Henry speak truth. There's nothing like woman touch around house. Yeah, you might be right. As long as she doesn't touch too hard. <laughs> you know... I have my own way of keeping things. Sort of uh, orderly confusion. Yeah, we agree, Stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> it smells mighty fine, Maggie. Thank you, Stumpy. It's probably been a blue moon since you had a home-cooked meal. <laughs> And they're almost all home-cooked, but none like this. <laughs> well, dig in. I'll eat with you tonight and clean up afterwards. But I'll not spoil you this way every night, Stumpy Jenkins. Well, the dishes are washed and put away. So I'll be running along home to me own brood. <sighs> Thank you, Maggie. <laughs> You're a fine cook. And a good woman. Mind you know... In the morning, I want things spick and span when I get here. No leaving the breakfast dishes in bed unmade. I'll pull the mattress and air it once a week and change the bedclothes. <laughs> What's so funny? I was thinking about the mattress. What about it? I wonder how it's going to act, getting fresh air once a week. Oh, stop it. It'll probably catch its death of cold. Oh, good night. Yeah, good night, Maggie. Maybe the boys are right. The house does need a woman's touch. If I keep eating like this, I'll have to have my britches let out. <laughs> You ready? Nope. By the looks of things, I ain't gonna be neither. Uh -huh. What do you mean? What's the matter? <laughs> she must have had help. She must have what had help. What are you talking about? Yeah, that female woman, Maggie Murphy. She must have had help doing what? Messing up my house. <laughs> She's been through the whole place. She couldn't have done it in one afternoon. She must have had help. <laughs> what are you looking for? The socks. All I want to find is one pair of socks. What's that on the dining room table? Huh? No, what in the name of common sense are they doing here? It looks like she mended them. Don't tell me all your socks had holes in them. What's the difference? As long as they don't show. I tucked your other uniforms to the cleaners this afternoon and two pairs of boots to the shoemaker. You did what? So, you don't wash your ears, neither, eh? Who told you to take my uniforms to the cleaners? They did. Huh? They stood up by themselves and begged to be cleaned. Oh, they weren't dirty. They weren't? Huh. They're so spotted, they looked like leopard skins. 
And as for your boots, you old buffalo, I don't see how you can stand to walk on your bare feet. I just don't get time to have all them things done. Besides, I would have had them sold before winter. Hands up! Hey, what's going on? It's only Stumpy. Well, it is. Excuse me, fellows. At ease. I uh, thought it was top brass from Washington by the cut of that uniform. Wow. Mm. Don't get close to those creases or they'll mm. cut you. Look at that. Look at those boots. Why, they shine like brand new. Yeah. What about that hat? It's the first time I haven't seen rain spots on it in a year. Pretty sharp-looking ranger, I'd say. No, don't blame me. It ain't my fault that I don't look salty. <laughs> hey, am I in the right house? Oh, it's about time you had new curtains. What was wrong with old ones? Well, I went to wash them and they fell apart. So I brought over what I had extra around home and put them up. <laughs> well, I suppose that's all right. Did you get a new rug, too? Of course I didn't. I just turned it so the worn part would be under the furniture. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of take it over, aren't you, Maggie? I'm nothing of the sort, Stompy Jenkins. You hired me to keep house, and that's just what I'm doing. And believe me, this house needed plenty of keeping. <laughs> Stumpy Jenkins, clean your feet when you come up from the basement. The next thing you'll want me to do is clean the basement. Land six, why do you save all these empty cans and clutter up the kitchen? I need them to put worms in when I go fishing. Can't you wipe your hands on these old towels when you're rooting in the garden? Next thing you want me to do is air dry my paws. Oh, do you have to leave your extra pair of store teeth and a glass on your dresser? Are you afraid they'll bite you? Come on, old timer. We're late. I'll catch it from the teacher. I know, I know. But don't blame me. I can't find my suspenders and I need them. Sometimes they're the only visible means of support I have. <laughs> Where did you use to keep them? Hanging on the front doorknob. Where? Why not? That way I wouldn't forget them. Oh, you're the limit. Say, what's that you've got on under your coat? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you won't tell nobody, will you, that I had them on already? I, I won't uh, breathe a word. Yeah, yeah, good boy. Yeah, somebody think I'd lost my trolley pole. It's just that female woman. She's driving me crazy. I can't take it anymore, young feller. She's upset my whole way of life. Uh, I've gotten used to it for, for 40 years. She's upset at all. Don't be hasty, old friend. I, I know it's a change, but you can make the adjustment, I'm sure. Eh, maybe I don't like the new way. Did you ever think of that? Oh, come on now. You have your evenings free since you don't have to clean house. Sure, she's changed things and cleaned up, but that's what a good woman would do. She's... Done things you never had time to do, Stumpy. You can't fight fires and keep house and do both well. Eh, eh, maybe you're right. Maybe you're not. But I'm fed up. I'm going to fire her. You aren't serious. I ain't laughing, am I? <laughs> Tonight when I walk in the door, I'm going to fire Maggie Murphy. And you can talk until your jaw muscles are sagging from exhaustion. I won't change my mind. Good evening, 
sense, don't be. Uh, howdy, Meg. What's the matter with you? Are you sick? Uh, I got a headache. Uh, I guess I'll get an aspirin or two. Don't dilly-dally, no. Your vessels will get cold, and hot food ain't worth eating when it's cold. Maggie, it's time. Stompy, to... eat your supper. Say, yeah. you're really took sick now. Yes, yeah, yeah, so I, I think I'll lay on the sofa for a spell. I... Just sit there a minute now. Get uh, some blankets uh, and a pillow. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> Oh, that's six. I'd better call Dr. Jones. Well, we won't need that stomach pump anymore, Bill. He's coming around. Sure, and he must have poisoned himself accidentally. Yeah, it looks that way, Maggie. It's a good thing you were here. Yeah, he took a strong dose of sleeping pills and painkiller. Oh. Well, I was right, youngster. Mrs. Murphy hadn't have been here. Poor old Stumpy had died. <laughs> What's all the excitement about? What are you doing here, Doc? The uh, question is, what did you do? Almost killed yourself. I did what? Well, easy, easy now, Stumpy. You just lay back and rest a while. The Doc's right, old-timer. Maggie saved your life. Land Shakespeare. Did you ever see such a collection of bottles? Why, there's enough here to start a drugstore. Too bad you didn't clean this out first, Maggie. I would have gotten to it directly. Is uh, this the bottle you thought you had aspirin in, old-timer? Yep. Yeah, that's it. But I remember now that those were the painkillers and sleeping tablets I had left over the time the buffalo banged me up. Uh... Uh, Maggie. Yes? I'm uh, much obliged to you for saving my life. Ah, uh, sure, and I'm glad I was here to help. If you don't mind, I hope you'll keep house for me for a long time to come. Like Bill says, it's getting dangerous around here without a woman to look after things. <laughs> Well, it was a hard, long battle, but Maggie won, didn't she? Well, that's the way it should be around Jenkins Manor. And uh, we fellows will just have to admit that there's nothing like a woman's touch around the house. Well, see you next week for more adventure with...